Thanks. Hi guys, Dr. Linda Kramer. Okay, today I want to talk about energy. How do we know what is our own energy and what is not our own energy? Have you noticed that we're now getting like a herd energetic field that's now being created around the world? Because what happens with energy, and I'll go there like science experiment first. When we've got certain atoms that are made up of protons, neutrons and electrons, that was a noise in my house, by the way. Um, interesting. I'll just let that go. Um, so when we've got energy made up of protons, electrons, etc., what happens is all this is constantly going on and on. It doesn't dissolve. It doesn't increase. It always stays constant, but it can change its form. Okay. So negativity can become positive. Positive can become neutral neutral can become positive or negative as well okay so they all can change from one form to another so what happens is when we've got one person who's in a good mood and they go into a group of people who are sad those sad people because there's so many of them all in that negative sadness or grief or whatever they're in the person who is happy will also become sad okay Unless, of course, that person who is happy, they've got a really big energy field where they go in and change all the others, okay? What will not happen ever is that it will always stay constant. The ones that are sad will stay sad. The one who's happy will stay happy. It never happens because energy is constantly changing, okay? So what's happening now around the world is that people are now getting angry frustrated people are now getting deserving privileged where they feel that they deserve to have things happen the way they want because for two years they haven't had their way people are now losing their kindness people are now losing their common attributes like common courtesy people are now disregarding and disrespecting I don't know if I want to be on that side of the fence. In fact, I know definitely I don't want to be on that side of the fence. So whenever I leave my house or I'm in my house, I create a good, loving and um, positive energy field around me. Okay? So when I leave my house, I might go to, say, a shopping centre or a group where a function where there's a group of people or I'm in other hobbies, etc. that I do where I'm around other people and <clears throat> what I find is I have got a decision that I can make I can either take on the energetic emotion of the group or I can influence those to be on my level of emotional energy because every energy is actually an emotive state it's en it's emotions so sadness, guilt, frustrations, where people are angry, that's all negative energy. So what happens is, how do we realize or recognize what is our own energy? It's to always take stock of who and what you are. When you leave your house and you're driving to a function, Take stock of how you feel. Are you happy? Are you excited? Are you thinking, oh God, I can't wait to get out of this party. I don't like the people there. So you take stock of who you are going to that group of people. Then when you're there, you take stock again. Am I in that same energy frequency of emotion of where I was before I got to that place? When you get home, are you still in that excited loving feeling of euphoria of oh yeah I'm having a great night tonight or are you now thinking oh my god what a waste of my time because that's how we recognize instantly what is our energy compared to somebody else but now let's go to the doozy what about when we can't see the people what happens when we're just picking up on those emotions even when people aren't even around us 
So this is where protection comes in. If you don't know how to do protection, I'm about to give you a masterclass, okay? If you want to go Google what is spiritual protection, please do and please do it all the time. I do it at least a few times every day. The way I do it is that I pretend in my imagination, so I believe it's real, that I am surrounded by Captain America's shield. His shield out of the Marvel movies, it's made of vibranium. So when something comes towards this shield, it vibrates off and goes back to where it's from. I've never seen vibranium. In fact, vibranium, the metal, does not exist. It's made up in the MC um, comics, Marvel comics, right? It's imaginary. But because I've seen it in the movie where Chris Evans, the actor playing Captain America, he's got the shield, the round shield with the red, white and blue on it because he's Captain America. And things come at him and it ripples off and goes back tenfold. So that's what I put around myself. The other one that I like if you're a DC person, like DC Comics, I like Wonder Woman. She wears the two gold um, bracelets. And she does this thing where she hits them together and it does the same vibrations out there that cast back what was coming at her. Okay? So this is all energy work that they're putting into the cartoons, but they use um, bombs and bullets instead of showing us energy because this is how these two items work. Vibradium and her shield. If you watch her shield... When she does that thing and it casts out all that energy back at whoever brought it to her. Okay, so that's what they're doing. So that's my one that I like doing. Okay, also I like saying the words. So how do I protect myself? This is how I say it. Use these words if you want. Go do your own research. Go do a Google search. How do I do protection to keep off other people's energies? Okay? Because this is how I say it. I say, thank you. I always start with thank you. Thank you for watching over me. Thank you for being who you are. Thank you for understanding I'm just a mortal being here quivering in all these emotions on earth. Thank you for guiding me and looking after me. Thank you. However, today I need your protection. Please come down and surround me with your strength. Surround me with your knowledge and your ability to cast off what is not my energy. I personally give no right, no permission and no consent for any other beings or persons energy to attach to my mind, body, soul, spirit or energy field. I go to all five. Mind, body, soul, spirit or energy field. You have no right or no permission to attach to me. I cast you out like Captain America's shield and Wonder Woman's bracelets. I cast you back to where you are from for you are not allowed to be in my energy space. My energy space is my being. My energy space is this room I'm in. Then we go to the next onion layer, the house I live in. The next onion layer is my yard. So you're not allowed in my yard, my house, my room, or me. Nick off immediately. <clears throat> if you per persist, I will be calling in Archangel Michael. For he has been in my house previously and you do not deal with the archangels for they always win. So there's a threat if you hang around. So any energy that is not my energy or my daughter's or the cat because they live here too. So you include the people that you live with. I give no right permission or consent. You are not invited to be on me today. You must now leave and never return. Okay? Nick off out of here. Then we check our emotions. The emotion I'm feeling right now is... 
I'm a little bit tired because I've just woken up an hour and a half ago. I'm a little bit on the cold side, so I've got a little bit of a shiver because it's cold here in Brisbane. But how am I feeling? I'm actually calm. I feel calm today. I'm not feeling anxious. I don't fear, feel fear. I don't have any hesitations or excitements, enthusiasm. I'm calm. So now I've identified my own emotional state today. So if I suddenly just have this, oh, wow, I'm so excited. Where did that come from? Or if I get the, oh, my oh my God, I could cry. I'm so sad now. Hang on, a minute ago I was calm and now I'm really upset. Where did that come from? Where or who did that come from? That's when you start your protections. This feeling I've now got, it's not mine. I've told you this before. You have no right, no permission to attach to my mind, body, soul, spirit or energy field. Nick off out of my body. Nick out of this room I'm in. Nick out of of my house. Nick out, Nick off out of the yard that I'm in. You have no right or permission to stay here. So Nick off. I fill this space with love. I I fill this space with the universal white loving energies of heaven. You have no right to be here if you're on the other side of the fence, so nick off right now. I only allow myself to be immersed in the white, loving energies of heaven. Now, as I look around, I can actually see white all around me. It goes to about here. So it's it's about a foot and a half. And it's my aura my aura has just changed colour to white. Wow. That's why I'm calm. Because white, if you Google what does a white aura mean, white aura is the most calming of all of the colours. It's heaven. Heaven has a white aura, by the way. So we look at our auras so wow today I'm just so white you may see red if you see auras okay if you do want to know what your aura is my email is below please email me and if you send me a photo of a current selfie of your face I'll tell you what your color is there's another gift okay so if you do want to know your aura please send me a selfie as an email my email is below Okay, so then you can do a Google. What does a green aura mean? What does a purple aura mean? Or whatever color I tell you. Okay, I will go there. I went to Bunnings, our hardware center, and I've got all the colors of the rainbow. So not only do I say that you've got, say, a yellow aura, I picked the shade because I've got like Oh my god, look at all the different shades of yellows that I've got. So, might be this one here, Texas Gold. So I tell you, your aura is Texas Gold. So then you can put Texas Gold yellow colour into Google and you'll be able to see the colour that I'm telling you that your aura is. Because this is very bold, but it's not coming up on the screen as very bold. Okay, so if you do want your auras done, please send me a photo email is in the link below in the description okay and if you do wish to pay i'll also include my paypal link just in case you want to throw me some dollars for it but i will go there guys energy work is never free there must always be a yin and yang as i've been talking about because energy is always moving and is always constantly on the go okay all righty so how to recognize what is not your own energy always stay in check with how you're feeling and say is this normal for me to feel like this is it normal for me to be tired at 11 o'clock in the morning is it normal for me to feel frustrated at three o'clock in the afternoon is this normal for me to just think I don't give a damn about what you're doing. I'm just going to do what I like anyway. Is that normal? 
Because the more we identify how we feel personally, that's when we identify when we're getting attacked by someone or something else. Hope this has helped today, guys. Talk to you all soon. Bye.